Welcome back to Great Day Live. We are live now. We've moved just over to the cooking stage, one of the most popular areas here at the Kentucky State Fair. If you've not been to the cooking stage, this is where it all happens. And of course, they are showing off and cooking with Kentucky Proud products. And with Sharon Spencer and Angela Caparelli to kind of take us through a little demo here. Ladies, great, great to see you. You Thank too. You. Hi, thanks thanks wonderful. I mean, thanks for coming over. Cooking stage, hands down, one of the most popular places, wouldn't oh, you say? Oh, it's the best place to be. Mm -hmm. You can't miss it when you come to the fair. That's right. So you are the stage manager. Yes, ma'am, for the last three years. What does that involve, and like how many chefs do you have coming up on the stage throughout the fair? Oh, my gosh. Well, we've got a lot of different competitions. We've got the KDA Junior Chef Competition, and we're going to have that almost every single day this year. We're back to almost up to 16 teams. We've also got to put an egg on it contest. It's going to involve a lot of FCCLA um, students as well as the Poultry Federation, but I've got about 43 acts that's going to be on stage. That is our farmers and our chefs, so I'm really excited. This year I actually had people reach out to me before I even started planning. Good problem so to have. That's a good problem to have, so it's been good. Right, I feel like it, it just shows off so many great products right here in Kentucky, and Angela, you're going to be showing off um, some, oh, some yeah. easy recipes that are going to make our kids want to eat some of these Kentucky Proud vegetables. Right, I do. Luckily, I've been for years I've been with the department 20 something years um, doing cooking demos at the farmers market and part of it is just to glean from the market and what's available and helping kids tricked into eating more vegetables so that's the trick yeah. tricking them into eating well when it's fresh and it's local um, you can't you can't really mess it up right. and if you get the kids involved from growing it to picking it to cutting it to cooking it they're gonna eat what they make and it's it's amazing to see their eyes light up when they're eating their own food. Sorry, I know you've been cooking here this morning, so show us I what you have. have for us. So what I made is a little easy peasy. I can These lovely young assistants can make sure this isn't burning in the oven. I would appreciate it. Um, so I took some fresh tomatoes, <coughs> sauteed that with some onions and garlic. That looks gorgeous. <coughs> Right there. It is. Oh, it's nice and fresh. Oh, you go for it. You know what? This is, I mean, you're saying we could just mix up some eggs in yeah. there and you could do Whatever this for breakfast. Got. Well, that's what I'm doing. That's so we got one Okay. So you can mix this up whenever it comes ready on the, on the vine, let's say. And then you can save some because it uses really well. I mean, it just doesn't all have to go into any bread, no, right? No. Although that's <laughs> not a bad way to use it. So here's the finished product. Oh, that looks gorgeous. That one was, um, is with some, uh, am I? Okay. My lip. Okay. I'm going to heat that up. So this one's with some Parmesan cheese, and this one is with some mozzarella. Mm -hmm. And we can cut that up and get that served to you guys. Look at that. Kids are never going to know kids aren't, right? There. They won't. And right. it's fresh and it's full of veggies and it's good. Hopefully it's edible. I don't make any hopefully promises. It's it hopefully it's good and oh, edible. Yeah. It's Listen to that. Good. It's always good. So, she I mean, you that. can't really mess it up. People ask for recipes all the time, but I like to glean from the market. So whatever's available is what gets put in the pan. And since we're here kind of talking a lot sure. about Kentucky Proud this morning, I feel like, you know, there's just been this whole rise of the farmer's market and this whole rise of Kentucky right. Proud. Where, where else can you get your, you know, Kentucky Proud products than at the Kentucky <laughs> Farmer's Markets? Kentucky Farmer's Markets, and we just talked about community-supported yeah. agriculture, which is pretty well. How many CSAs do we have in the state? CSAs, we have about 140, and we're actually getting ready to go into a CSA fair, our uh -huh. fall fair. Um, so we're going to be in a sonnet period, and so you can check out. We've got a lot of winter crops and everything that the CSAs <laughs> offer. Um, our for markets, people that may not be familiar with this, you can get you can get farmers products subscribe to it, have it delivered right. straight to your door. Correct, correct. Um, or pick it's, up. It's always, yeah. a, it's always a really good deal. And what it is is you share the risk with the farmer. Right. And so if they have a bad crop, then you're going to know exactly what you're going to be going through. But the farmer's going to deliver. They're going to give you something. Um, but it's amazing. But the big thing is you get to eat seasonal. So you get to learn how to cook fresh all over again. So cooking fresh is protecting uh, Obviously, learn more at KY Proud. Yeah, we've got 174 farmers markets in the state of Kentucky, and we grow and grow every year. So. Well, thank you, Sharon. Thank you. Yeah, for she's still cooking. I'm Stop still cooking. The cooking stage. Try Here's some pizza. Fair. I'll try the pizza.